Magnolia blowing smoke around Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yeah. Kane and Flatbush sound good too. Six pack, where'd you go, man? I'm right here. I know, but you made the man feel like you couldn't hear him ask you uh, how his radio sounded back. The radio sounded real good my way. I'm just sitting here and having a six pack. Oh, okay, that's why you left him on the key. I, 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 I was just curious. I had him back in my cut. Your hole in the wall, not Crooklyn, Brooklyn, CB shop. The band with the master plan, the Midas Touch Technology, the Know How got down. Yeah, come on. Twenty-five, okay. Reagan? Yeah, come on, sir. Let me ask you a question. Now, I got this answer. Now, my SWR is at one point, one point one when it's raining. Okay, these fucking uh, uh, antenna mounts are inside the mirrors. These are good antennas, twin antennas. When I get when I get the antennas get wet, when they get that good ground, I swing out 100%. Right now, I swing out about 30, 35, 40% when it's dry. And I know it needs a good ground, but, I mean, how can I ground that uh, TV bracket you know, without going inside the mirror? Well, and the only way you're going to be able to pull that off, my friend, is make sure you're not powering the radio off your dashboard or your power lugs. Uh, if it's just the radio you got with no extra, extra amplifier, you can get away with 16 gauge wire. Run 16 gauge wires off your battery directly yourself, positive or negative, and feed that radio plug cord. Now your whole radio system and that antenna is properly grounded. Temple? Yeah, I know, but we can't touch these trucks, you know what I mean? And uh, I understand what you're saying. I, I've been on the radio for, you know, 40 years, whatever, but uh, I've been on it since I was a little kid, but I understand that, but it's got to be, you know, these, these are companies who can't do shit, and that's the best way to go from the battery, and, and we can't even put our own antennas on here. These are good antennas, don't get me wrong. You know, but uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the fucking antenna brackets that don't have the good ground on it. Well, in that case, let me just give you the only advice. <coughs> <coughs> only advice I can. <coughs> A lot of cats I dealt with started to have that problem in their newer trucks. Some of the companies aren't letting them touch any of the trucks. But you see, it's like this, man. Before you take that truck out, you got to inspect and check everything. And if you ain't smart enough to carry that piece of wire with you, with your radio cord, with two alligator clips, so you can clip on with each run, then I guess you really don't want to talk. I thought about that. I think about doing that now. I thought about doing that. Uh, now, I... Can't open up these mirrors. These are big fucking mirrors, you know what I mean? And uh, I was wondering if I just take the alligator clip and clip it onto the bottom of the antenna and go to the a ground on the on the tractor. You know what I'm saying? Sir, listen to me. We're not discussing your antenna. Anything you're thinking about doing with that antenna, the way that truck is manufactured, will create a ground loop. You go to Home Depot, you get the alligator clip, get the alligator clamps that'll, you know, fit on your battery terminal, you know what side that is. Little clip clip, connect your 16 gauge wire with your radio power cord. And yo, when you pull out of the goddamn truck yard, the first traffic light, jump out, tack your two goddamn alligator clips, plug your shit in and go. Now everything is grounded if you have properly soldered coax. If your coax is decent shit with some good amp and all solder connectors on it, you're good, bro. You don't have to sweat the mirror bracket, the problems or anything again. 
If you got that that pre-molded bullshit, you screwed. Okay. All right, brother. I appreciate you help, man. You made me think about something to do. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. You do. You take a no, you buy an extra radio power cord that plug it to the back of that radio. Put it on about uh. Let's see, 12 feet will be enough, but you can't use 12 feet because you don't want it to ground loop. No three-foot multiple, three, six, nine, twelve, or any of the one and a half in between. So, you know, make sure whatever, you know, you, you get a 12-foot piece, you cut a quarter inch off it, and then connect your shit, man. All right, brother.